chill pill and realize y'all not perfect. But here it is, y'all. Like, I think y'all perfect. And it's like. <laughs> y'all not original. <laughs> What's up, people? How's it going? It's your boy Isaiah. We are back with another mother effing video. And all I'm gonna say is, you know, Kanye finally, finally, <laughs> finally released his album. Although it's UMG who released it without his knowledge, because I think, you know, Kanye wanted to go for a fourth round, a fourth round of, you know, improvements on his album. You know what I'm saying? He, he went out and did three listening parties, you know what I'm saying, to see what he wanted to tweak. And I think he could have went for a fourth. To be honest with you, I think he wants to go four for four. But you know, UMG said, no, 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 we're gonna release this shit. You done too much. Although he made millions, but they released it. And you know, people are upset. You know what I'm saying? You got Soldier Boy, you got Chris Brown, and probably a bunch of more people who are probably upset. You know, you get a lot of people on this album. And I just feel like, wow, okay. You know, I listened, I, I, listened, I, I watched the first listening party in Mercedes Benz, somewhat watched the second. I more or less was looking for the highlights, you know, let me know what was new, more improvements. And the third one, I didn't watch. I think I was on vacation, enjoying myself, you know what I'm saying? I don't got time to sit up here, waiting for Kanye all the time. You know, I gotta live my life, just like he living his life. And you know, highlight, I think the biggest highlight was, we saw Shanessa, and um, he made some tweaks and put the baby back on the album, and then boom, um, Kim Kardashian walked on stage. And that must be like their reconciling of some sorts. Don't know. Good for them. Wop whoop de doo. But let's talk about this album. First of all, the cover there is black. I thought there would be something else to it, but I guess right now it's black. <clears throat> Alright. Now let's get into the 27 tracks. I just 27 tracks. You know, as I'm you know, usually I'm listening for uh, the beat to get me and then I go from there. So let's just Listen to the 27 track album and see which ones are a hit for me and which ones are a big fat miss. I'll hunt like first listening. Well, I guess this is my fifth time listening to it. Let's get a show on the road. Let's see how long we can go for. That's my phone. First up, we have Donda. Listen, we're not gonna go through that song because it just says Donda, Donda, Donda. And Donda is, you know, his mother's name. And this is basically a, a, an album. The album is dedicated to his mama. Okay, Donda. And, um, yeah, the Donda chant, we know that. And we're gonna go to jail, and we know there's a jail part two with the baby. Yeah, but uh, this has Lil Wayne in it. Lil Wayne. It has Jay Z in it. And they, you know, reconciled it might do a throne too. And it's like, hey, that's on that popular. What's crazy about this it's the instrumentals to these songs are you know incredible sometimes I feel there's not a whole lot of words going on but you know you know I like the fact that he's having everybody talk about God and there's some light in some way and being righteous and you know you know living life basically I like it <laughs> I'm with your baby when I touch back road. You know, they like to talk about themselves as Moses and Jesus and almost like saving the black community. You know, at some sort of point, you could, you could, we could talk about that and divulge into that conversation. I don't necessarily think that entirely, you know what I mean? Moses and Jesus, but you know, you want to call yourself that, do that for artistic reasons. Okay, cool. But if they do a throne too, I would watch it. I would listen to it because let me tell you, that Niggas in Paris song, oh, baby, that was, that was a song. All right. If they have a music video for this, it's, it would do something. Like, I could see it, you know, just, you know, just going in, like, doing some, like, crazy dance moves. Like, I feel like, you know, more like a, like, around a fire, people dancing around and, like, you know, like, you know, le not leotards, but, you know, around a fire. That's how I see it. I know God breathe on this. 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 You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you ain't gonna tell me nothing. Like, you can say what you want to say, but God breathed on me. And, um, I'm going places. That's what he's saying to me in this song. 
You know, Playboy Cardi on this song is definitely a um, hype song, like a mosh pit song that you play, and people go buck wild and things like that. You know, that's really what I get from it. You know, is there a lot of substance to the song? I mean, there, there might be. I'm listening to the lyrics at this very moment. I'm just like, all right, let, let's let's go through the 27 tracks. That I don't feel like he's done with his final edits since people are upset. I feel like he's gonna continue to make edits to this album like he's done his previous albums and um yeah you know he's a perfectionist and sometimes it's like all right Kanye you know what else can you do to to it but hey then again you know what when you're a perfectionist you want to do good you want to make your product is good <laughs> I can see myself revisiting this song, you know? I can see myself revisiting this. It's not bad. The weekend, you know what I'm saying? It's going on an album soon. You know what, little baby? He's he's feeling this. He really is. Okay. Alright. Alright. Yeah, he did have a $64 million home that he never went to, back home to, and that's just crazy to me. If I was spending $64 million on a house, although I don't know if it's because him and his wife had issues or whatever, that's not my business, but if I was spending that much money, uh, you better believe I'm going to be up in that house because that's a lot of money. Although, you know, that he had a house in in middle of no fucking where, what, Milwaukee, Minnesota, one of them places, I don't recall what the hell it was called. But you know what I'm saying? He has a whole bunch of land. So it's like, did he miss out? I guess not. We got that much money. You know what I'm saying? Could just do what you want. Mm -mm -mm. It was all so simple. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Everybody is judgmental. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's like, y'all need to take a chill pill and realize y'all not perfect. But here it is. Y'all like to think y'all perfect. And it's like. <laughs> Ooh. We're problematic, my friend. Because the self is a work. I really do enjoy how he has like his mother speaking throughout parts of the album. I think that resonates with how much he enjoys and endured his mother and appreciated her so much in this world. And I do enjoy that because he's done it on his last, what, several albums that he's put his mom on there. So, I fuck with it. The beat is good. You know, I'd have to give it more of a listen to. Now this one I like. This one I like. Just the whole beat, everything about it. You know what I'm saying? I don't really like this one. You can't tell me nothing. I'm gonna listen. I, I listen to this over and over and over and over and over. I sure will. I sure will. Like who's here? Who's on it? That's what I have to figure out. Okay, Mike Dean. Oh, so that's who Mike, that's who was in there, and Audie? Okay, well, I thought, was, I thought there was another familiar voice on here. Maybe not. Wait, I don't know. Like, who's here when I need a shoulder to lean on? I hope you're here when I need... Because it just resonates, you know, like, ooh, ooh, ooh. It's like, we always need a shoulder to lean on, like, who's going to be here when, when when I'm at, like, my lowest? And, you know, it's range true. Cause we all need a shoulder to lean on. Cause when the other person who you think could lean on is not there for you, damn. I wasn't scared to die with him. That was my biggest fear. I got your son and your daughter. Like you still here? No has. Like something could be said about the fact that like Con, not Kanye, Jay Z has has made two billionaires, Rihanna and Kanye. Dope as fuck. Dope. Yeah, hit him on it. Ooh, you, I like how it came. Okay, okay, they got me wanting to rap again. Coming on the scene, talking about, hey, listen, you know, I've been through my stuff, but listen, I, I can, I know how to get down, all right? But again, this is another song I, I, I can listen to, go back to, upon my another list of I'm listening to it, but not really, I'm just like looking for things. You rap, sound like me, can't tell who is who, you can know, real identity. He said, y'all not original. <laughs> y'all my son, that's what he said. <laughs> y'all copycats, y'all not original. <laughs> I'm 
improvements to the his track list and the songs and things like that. It's gonna change and make updates. I also feel like, what did y'all expect? Like, what did y'all expect? Like, I don't like, I don't like. Did he change to you within private conversations, or did you not see him for who he is and things like that? And thought maybe he'll be better. You know what I'm saying? That's the way I, you know, whatever. Mm, mm, oh my mama. Like, I feel like you can take the mm mm and like the 45 seconds and I'd be good with it. But I'll continue listening. Made a promise, mm, doing your walk tonight. Like, you know, you do is doing your mm 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 mm. Like, uh, I can just do that and be like, alright, next song. Mm, four, five, dollars, mm, mm, in pajamas, mm, mm. You see what I'm talking about? Mm mm. You, 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 you hear it. Don't act like you don't hear it. You do. Well, in the sense of like playing it like at a at an event, and they did it well with putting Lauryn Hill and then him in it. I think I would have been like even more. And this very moment, kind of like okay, what's the next song? Because it almost seems like a filler song, but I do somewhat like it. I just feel like I need more time to sit on the song. Is that, does that make sense? Does that make sense? Well, that's how I feel. You know what I'm saying? You don't feel that way when you know what I'm saying. Suck your mother. Suck your mother. Oh, I like the praising aspect of this song, you know what I'm saying? Mm, I really do, praising it. You know, I do like it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Their hands in the sky, you know, those will be your last moment. You want to you wanna feel right. One with you know people they're surrounded with, one with the Lord. I like it. Say so like even though you're going through trials and tribulations, ooh, trials and tribulations, you are okay. You're gonna make it out. You know, people need to hear that. They do. They do. From what I'm getting from the song is basically him talking about like. God being in control and like a re remote control and him knowing what's gonna happen within your life. That's, that's what I'm getting. I like talking about himself, metaphorically. But let's continue. I know the song has a lot of like God aspects. I also feel like it's like off talks about. <laughs> I also feel like it's talking about being high. Am I the only one that like hears that? Like I feel like that's that's what it's talking about. Like I wanna go to the moon. Don't be us so soon. Also, like just feeling. I feel like uh, it's also about like feeling lost and wanting to go somewhere else as well. On the planet of the world because you're just as upset. But it also I feel like it's talking about being high in another world. You know, it's like a, it's, a, it's you know, no, maybe not. I don't know. Who knows? It's one of the things where you listen to, you gotta like, you gotta go back to it, and then come back. We on pesos, we get payrolls, trips to Legos, connect like Lego. This reminds me of a song that he's done before. It, 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 it reminds me of a song that he's definitely done. Oh, I don't remember the name of the song, but he's wearing like a, a chain. Almost like that album about like Blood of the Leaves or something like that. That's what it kind of reminds me of. I reminisce it back. No more idols, no more false rivals, something like that. Okay. What he has meant to me, but what he has meant to a generation. As one I really do like that, like her coming in and speaking, and like, you know, he's doing the whole like voice changing, you know what I'm saying? You can take her voice and make it say a whole bunch of things. Like, I do like that, and you can tell, like, this album is really true to like who he is and what he wanted to bring out because, in respect to his mother. You know what I'm saying? I can respect that. Is he's already made millions off the album like great for him you know props will this be a commercial success I mean I think maybe like one or two songs and maybe in like movies and a TV show and like certain aspects of it do I think it'll be huge commercial success success like a you know like you know gold diggers or you know any other previous songs I don't necessarily think so but he has such a huge fan base where he doesn't necessarily need that like look what he did with his listening parties for the songs for his album Lots of people showed up, you're gonna continue to show up for Kanye, that's just who he is at this point in time. And I can respect that. But it's still a good album, still gonna do numbers, people are gonna to listen to it. And he's gonna go on tour again, hopefully, you know, he completes his tour and nothing happens to him. And people are gonna show up, okay? Then my kids, they love shit like this. 
Cause anybody can hold true to that. Cause you good too. Cause if you don't, you know what I'm saying? Something gonna happen, you gonna be in the gutter. And you're gonna get yourself out the gutter. <laughs> now this might just be in my top five. It just might be of this album. That's a song right there, you know what I'm saying? If anybody who goes through something or anything, you wanna listen to that? Alright. Oh, Kanye did his thing right there. He did his thing with this song. He's on denying it. Um, this beat, this beat got me. I don't know the words yet, but the beat got me. Sometimes, you, you know, we're not perfect, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we we'll have to repent a lot. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's like if you just keep doing things that act as if you're gonna get to somewhere, you know, up there and things like that, you're not gonna do anything that's like being bad, although we are. You know, we're human, we're supposed to go through life. We're supposed to make, we're supposed to make some failures, mistakes, and then repent. Okay? Now of course there's certain things where it's like, okay, you, you do it too much. You might need to sit down. And again, I am a new person. I can make mistakes and yeah, that's what I got. Smoke now that I heard it, like it was good, you know. I guess it's good, it's good, it's short, you know. It just repeated the same thing, you know. All right, great. Who you know, spend an hour in ball green. Is this a song that he put with um when Kim was out there on the stage? Because I, I only saw pictures, I, I didn't look at the whole thing. I was just like, great for them. <laughs> Oh, this one with uh, Roddy Rich. New stages, just to hop on new stages. Open up your eyes, man. They only. Hey, if ain't that right, I cannot sell my soul, you know what I'm saying? I can do all other things, you know what I'm saying? But sell the soul? Ooh. What? I don't think so. He addresses the Grammys and what went on over there, but he's like, well, I'm looking at the Grammys. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? I got this. I can do this. I can do it all by myself. It need be. <laughs> Anybody who likes Caribbean music and they know Shanessa, they prop, props, props. I'm back against the wall. Never cut on y'all. Never count on y'all. Always count on God. And if I remember, the, the, I think at the second one, he went into the sky. Like, they, they rose him up and stuff. He has risen, mm -hmm. metaphorically. I don't think that's what he meant, but I think it was just him. You know. No child of behind, if the, if the music can move you to get with, you know, God or somewhere with righteous, you know, somewhere where you can get right with yourself, you know what I'm saying? Do that. The song is, it is short, you know, but for the most part, but like the album, I think the album's pretty dope. Why not I give it like a what? A, a 7 out of 10? 8 out of 10? 7 out of 10? 7 out of 10? 7 out of 10? I'm gonna just sit on it, but I guess that's where I'm going with it. Um, you know, if I feel like if I actually sit there and listen to more of the songs more and more, I probably would like it, probably will grow on me. I'll probably visit, you know, some of the songs, some of the songs I probably don't really care for, I can get rid of. But you know, well done production, you know, great. He's put out, he's gonna come out a new album at some point, but you know, for this album, you know, his rollout was pretty good, you know what I'm saying? He kinda did like the aspect of what this has got, he explained it. I can find the video, I'll put it there, but if I can't, well then, well, I didn't put the video. Basically, like, he took the way how, like, apps put out a product and then they make tweaks based off of how the users experience the, the product and what they, how they use it. And so that's kind of what he did with the album where he rolled it out. Well, he did a listening part where he would listen to it and then he went back and made tweaks and like, we reacting to it and what he needed to tweak in, in it. So I could have sworn you, they went for a fourth round of tweaking it and doing a little listening party, but at this point, he was like, listen. Released it so we could be done. You know what I'm saying? Hey, nonetheless, good body work, props. Alright, that's wrapping the video. Let me know if y'all like the song, like the album, and I know what was your favorite track. And if you can't wait to listen to more Yee, you know what I'm saying? It's time to album. You know what's in store, you know? But alright, <laughs> I'll see y'all. Peace. Duffles in my head.